Good evening, I'm Tebacho Mate with your news updates. Tenants at Waterfall Development use services illegally. ANC wary of more scandals erupting in run-up to elections. And wife killer Jason Rod sentenced to 20 years in prison. Former executives of the Waterfall Development in Midrand have been charged with fraud, corruption and money laundering relating to the illegal installation of water meters that have cost the city of Joburg at least 13 million rands. The former CFO of the Waterfall Investment Company, Brian Landman, his wife Michelle Tracy and the company's former accountant, Hendrik Strubel, appeared at the Johannesburg Specialized Commercial Crimes Court on Tuesday and they've been granted 10,000 rand bail each. The African National Congress says that it cannot rule out the possibility of more scandals erupting in the run-up to the elections. The party secretary general, Ace Mahashule, briefed the media on Tuesday on allegations of sexual harassment and rape against the party's two spokespeople, Ule Mabe and Zizikoto. The two ANC senior officials will cease to speak on behalf of the party after they decided to step aside for now. Jason Rod has been sentenced to an effective 20 years in prison for killing his wife. He was sentenced today at the Western Cape High Court. In November last year, he was convicted for murdering Susan Rod at the Spear Wine Farm in Stellenbosch in July 2016. While the court has accepted evidence that Rod smothered the woman and then staged her suicide, he maintained his innocence until the very end. And now to your traffic and weather updates. Looking at traffic, in Kruger's Dorp R28, there's a stationary vehicle near the casino. Expect delays. There's a delay at Farnacheng Road due to obstruction in Al Road, Heidelberg Road. In Krauthorn R55, there's congestion causing slow-moving traffic at Arthur Road. Expect delays at Grasvener Road due to roadworks in Bryanston Main Road. And also in North Widenford Coppin Road, there's roadworks causing a delay at River Bend Road. Moving to weather updates. In Johannesburg, we're experiencing a warm weather condition at a minimum of 17 and maximum of 30 degrees Celsius. And also in Pretoria, it is much more hotter at a minimum of 17 and maximum of 31 degrees Celsius. That's all we have from the traffic and weather. Back to the news desk. And that is it from me and the rest of the Jovic TV news team. Goodbye.